Well, everyone, the iPhone 14 has been out for a little bit of time now, and I've been using this phone kind of as a secondary device. Essentially, everything I basically do on this channel, from the second channel, third channel, for the most part, I use my iPhone 14 for. So although I'm not using this as my main device, I would say I still use it about almost the same as I use my other personal phone. My screen on time for my iPhone 13 Pro is like not even like two hours a day. So this one I'm probably using just as much. Now, here's the thing. With this iPhone, I have not been babying it around. I am not too sure what the battery health is. I would probably still say it's probably at 100%. I mean, it's only been a few months. Usually you start to see decreation probably around that, you know, year, probably around seven months to a year. But I will say that I mean, for me, not charging. I mean, I keep this thing charged all the time at 100%. I also keep this thing in very crazy conditions. Sometimes I can leave it in my car for a day or two when it's super cold, when it's super hot. I can also, you know, kind of keep it in direct sunlight. So things like that can happen all the time. So unlike my personal device, which I take better care of, this one could be all over the place. So if I go and make my way over to my settings right now without wasting too much time, if I go and go down to my battery right here, you can see your battery health by clicking on battery health and charging, and you will see that we are still at 100% with this iPhone. So like I mentioned, this is probably expected. It hasn't really been super long, but I will tell you two iPhones ago with my iPhone 12 and my iPhone 12 Pro, I believe at this point I was already at like 90 something percent on both my iPhone 12 and my iPhone 12 Pro. I think my 12 Pro was lower than my iPhone 12, but I was already seeing the creation as of this point. Well, at least with the iPhone 14s, we are still getting at least a 100% battery health here. I can also probably look at my iPhone 13 and see probably the same thing, maybe like 90 something percent as well, and maybe 99 or 98 percent there. But at least with the iPhone 14, you can see we are still getting fairly high battery health, which is really nice. So I will say, as I mentioned, I have not been babying this thing around. I've been, you know, kind of using it as I normally would. So that is something that's kind of making me feel a little bit better about these you know specific phones like i said the iphone 12s had some issues but the 12 pros pretty much do not have any issues for the mo the 13 and 13 pros from what i've seen don't really have too many issues but now the 14s also look fairly solid as well which is really cool to see you know in my opinion so if you have an iPhone 14, I'd recommend taking a look at the battery health. And honestly, I would recommend if you want to just leave your you know specific battery health in the description below. And I want to see if anybody is also already at 100%, if anybody's below 100%, and if you've been having some weird battery health issues. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below, but that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.